I made it back, you guys. I'm alive. And these little doggies are so excited. They want to go home. I think they're so thirsty. Come on, boys. Let's go. Ooh, I was getting kind of nervous there for a little while. Oh my god, I love those big screened in areas. So pretty. Oh, look at that. Look at that little gazebo thing. Now we'll walk back over towards our place. Come on, doggies. Oh man, there y'all go getting me all tangled up again. Okay, let's go. Back up that way is another whole big part of the, where the store and the, one of the pools and exercise room and all that kind of stuff I'm not gonna go that way but we're gonna go over through these gates and go back to where we came from Doggies. Wilderness Preserve. We're going to go through the crack. Let's go, doggies. Let's go. Whoops. Come on. We'll go this way. Come on, boys. Let's go this way. We didn't bring our golf cart or the motorcycle this time we're just towing the Jeep and then we fold up our our bikes those e-bikes they just fold up and put them in the back of the Jeep oh I'm so thirsty See that things are so cute. Let's see if I can walk around with this phone without being. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. So they don't think I'm some kind of weirdo videotaping their fancy spancy spots. But they are. Pretty. I noticed that some people don't stay here and they will lease out their spot or rent out their spots to 
other people. I don't know. We rented through the office. Maybe we're just renting a spot that hasn't been bought yet. But I'm pretty sure it hasn't been bought yet because it's just a plain old like slab of cement. Somebody's building something today. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we'll rent out their spots. One I looked at was 800 bucks a month. That's a pretty motor home. Look at this pretty fifth wheel. So shiny. Boy, that's a pretty fifth wheel. I'm gonna go back to our place and see if I can drag Kip away from work to go on the river. Or if he doesn't want to go canoeing, if we can drive down the road. Because I want to see where the spring is. I saw the brochure, and not actually a brochure, but I saw the online stuff, and it looks beautiful. Like turquoise water, crystal clear, white bottom. White sandy bottom. I want to go there. I want to see it. I want to touch it. I want to get in it. No, maybe I don't want to get in it. Not quite that warm. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be totally against it. I'd give it a shot. But I definitely want to go see it. Here's the problem that I think we're having with our travel is that well I have to realize we're not on vacation number one and Kip does have to work so we only have time on the weekends to do stuff and then of course on the weekend traffic is horrific like last weekend we drove over to this place called the villages and I guess the villages is like this place here in Florida where like a lot and like everybody there is 55 and older. So we drove over there because they're supposed to have like all these activities and music in the park and yummy stuff to eat and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, we went over there, and it's not that far, but it took us literally all day to get there and get back. So that was kind of a drag, but um, it was a really pretty area, but it was very, um, I don't know, it was fine. It was fun for a little outing, but I would like to go see more things like not shopping or amusement parks. I don't really care about that kind of stuff. But I would like to see all of the tropical stuff. Like the national parks. the All the beaches. I want to go find seashells on Sanibel. I want to go out to the... Um, can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Well, Sanibel is also an, is an island, but there's little islands off of the coast everywhere. It's beautiful, white, sandy beach, and have um, some of them. You can actually even, if you go early and you get it when the tide's going out, then 
you can literally walk across to this island. And so then you have all day long. And you have plenty of time to have fun and relax and do whatever. See what there is to see. Take a nap. <laughs> or whatever. But, uh, and get back. See, there's one spot that is for rent. It says that it's available monthly or for the season. The only months they want to keep it is September through May and it's 800 bucks a month. And that's what you get. There's just a just a slab. But I think that's kind of how much Sig, please come. I think that's how much Kip said that that little slab we have cost. Not sure. Hello. There we are, over there. See the Jeep? Almost back. Woo! Scared me. Somebody's getting their lawn work done. A lot of people getting lawn work done today. This one place, well, I'll show you when we get up here. You can keep walking down this road and you go into a whole nother section. This place is pretty big. Anyway, the first day that we were here, this black motorhome had a company come in and they like poured these concrete curbs. Can you see the curbs like outlining? They did that in like, I don't know, it only took them like maybe two hours to pour all of that. So I've been waiting and waiting for them to have somebody come in and do the landscaping. I wanted to see that whole thing come together, how they did it and what the process was. And, hello. This morning, a truck with a trailer came in and two guys jumped out with Two shovels and started digging. I thought, oh yay, they're going to start the process. I'll get to see how they do it. And they just like, I don't know, they just put the shovel in the ground just a couple times and boom, gone. They were out of there within probably five minutes, I bet. But boy, look how shiny that thing is, gorgeous. I'm heating up, boys and girls. I need Wawa. Ori and Zig, do you guys need water? Y'all did really good on your ride or your walk. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.